Welcome back to my animation channel. Thanks very much for joining me. What we are going to focus on today is we are going to look at our toolbar over here and just look at the tools that OpenTunes offers us. So on the top left here, you can see that button has been selected and that is the animate button. When that animation button is selected, whatever you have selected in your workspace here will be live to animate. So it will be setting keys as you go. We've gone and set mistakenly a few camera keys here. What we'll do is I'll show you how this works very shortly. Let's just click through a few more of these buttons. Below that is the select button. We have nothing selected here. We have no drawing, so that won't be live yet. Let's create a drawing. On the next button is our paint to our draw button. So that's the paintbrush. Let's go and draw something. So let's just draw a squiggle. And you can see what happens. First of all, in your level strip, there's your very first drawing. So if you select that, that is your drawing. In your X sheet, it puts that very first drawing at the top there. And it is a kind of beige tan color, if you want to call it that, which tells us it's a vector drawing. So this has just come as a default vector. And that's because it's been set to always open up in the vectors. If we want to create a another type of drawing, let's go here and right click and you go to new new level. It, it has four formats. You can select a tunes vector level, which is what we actually have. You can select a tunes raster level, which let's do that. Click OK and you'll see it's green here. So our tunes vector level is more a beige and the raster level is a, is a green. Click that frame and right click, create a new level here, go back and there's a raster level. So let's click that. That's blue. And there's a scan level as well, which is a very, very last thing. If you're scanning in your drawings, you'll be using that. So those are the four types of drawing formats that OpenTunes use. You got your tunes vector level, your tunes raster level, your straight raster level, and then your scan level. So let's select our raster level and let's go do the same thing with, with our paintbrush and draw a little squiggly line. So now we have, let's just get rid of these. So just if you want to delete it, you can just right click it and delete and we'll do the same to the scan level here. So basically what we have here is a vector, a tunes vector level, which we have selected and there's a drawing there. And over here we have a tunes raster level, which we have selected and it's over there, this thing here. So there's a big difference between vectors and rasters in illustration, etc. We'd call them bitmaps. Here they're called rasters. The big difference is that I'm selecting the vector level now. Sorry. Let me, let me just show you this as well. If you want to get rid of, if you want to turn this off so that you don't see it, you can turn off the visibility here. So if you turn that little eye thing off there, it won't be rendered, but you can still see it. If you turn that little box thing off there or toggle it on off, you won't see it. So we're going to do both here. We're just going to turn that off. We can actually leave that on so it will render, but we don't want to see this. So we're going to turn it off. We go select our very first column here, column one, and we select our very first frame. And let's just have a look at what we have here. That, that is a vector. We know it's a vector because you can manipulate it. It has these arms here that you can manipulate your curves. It works on a basis of lines between nodes, which is how all vectors work. So it's mathematical. It just joins basically nodes with lines. So that, that is our vector. That's that's basically how vectors work. And if we go and we have a look at, so now we'll turn the vectors off. So now nothing's visible and we'll turn on our raster level. Let's go back to our paintbrush tool and let us go and draw some more raster lines here. Let's zoom in. How you zoom in is you hold shift and space down at the same time and you can zoom in by dragging your stylus or your mouse left or right, zoom in and out. You can also use the, I'll be honest, I've never used anything else. So shift and space bar, zoom in and out. And you can see the basic difference if you don't already know between the rasters or the bitmaps and the vectors. There is what happens to a raster when you zoom into it. 
rest is are, are pixels so it's not a mathematical thing like a vector is a vector is just basically nodes that have a x and a y coordinate and a path between them which is the line and that's how vectors work so when you zoom into a vector it's a very different story to get the hand just click on your space bar and that'll bring the hand up and back to zoom in zoom out uh, with your shift and your space bar on and you can zoom in and zoom out like that so hand with the space bar once it's selected you you can let it go and move it around like this zoom in zoom out shift space bar so let's zoom into the vector and you can see you can zoom into infinity here and it will not break up so that's the big difference between them please take a look at my animating with open tunes course which you can find by the links in the description this course goes from the basics all the way through to the more advanced tools and techniques if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and sign up to receive my newsletters and otherwise thanks again for joining me and hopefully i'll see you again soon all the best bye